Hi, hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Balakrishna. So, in this video, I am going to explain class 10 important two more questions. So, first one, use Euclid division lemma to find the SCF of 900 and 270. Before go to video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and share to your friends. Click the bell icon, give the like on comment. Okay, so here, SCF of 900 and 270. SCF means highest common factor. So, to find SCF between 900 and 270 by using Euclid division lemma. So, here, the largest number is 270. Smallest number is 270. 900, 270. So, 273 is 18, 0, 90. Next, 90 is divided, the divisor 270, how many times? 3 times, that is 270, the remainder is 0. So, here, the highest common factor is how much here? 90. So, here, what does the use Euclid division lemma? So, here, Euclid division lemma is A is equal B into Q plus R. A is equal B into Q plus R. The remainder condition is 0 less than R equal to R less than B. That means the remainder is greater than R equal to 0 and less than the divisor. Here A is dividend, B is divisor, Q is quotient, R is remainder. So here how many times divide here? 2 times. So that is here 900. Dividend is equal divisor 270 into 3 remainder how much 90 in the second division dividend is 270 divisor is 90 quotient is 3 remainder is 0 so it where we can get the remainder 0 at 90 so 90 is HCL or 900 and 270. Next, if P of E is equal 0.0543, what is the probability of not E? So here we know that the sum of all probable all probability of events in an experiment is 1. So P of E plus P of E bar. E bar means what? Not E. Okay, is equal how much? 1. So P of E value is how much? 0 0.0543 plus P of E bar is equal 1. The plus is moon to the right minus. So P of E bar is equal 1 minus 0 0.0543. So from 1 we can subtract. That is 1, we can add 1.000. So which number you can subtract? 0 0.0543. So then subtract, take the bar rules. Okay, here 10, 10 minus 3, 7. Next 9, 9 minus 4, 5, 4. So here 9.0. So how much you can get? 0 0.9457. So the probability of not in is how much? 0.9457 Next, find the zeros of the polynomial x square plus 5x plus 6. So here, p of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 6. Plus 6. For this polynomial, find the zeros. So, how you can do that? Let us take P of x is equal to 0. So x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So by using factoration formulas, so 6 we can write as 2, 3, j. So the product of 2 and 3 is almost 6. Their sum or subtraction is become x quotient. That is 2 plus 3 is almost 5. So that is here x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 2 into 3 is equal to 0. So here we know that x squared plus a plus b into x plus ab is equal to x plus a into x plus b. So here the formula can apply here that is x of in this to what the common x x plus 2 
the last two terms what the common 3 plus 3 of x plus 2 is equal to the total what the common x plus 2 is a common so taking outside what the remaining x plus 3 is equal to 0 so the product of two polynomials is 0 if the first one is 0 or second one is 0 or both are zeros so x plus 2 is equal to 0 x plus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus 3 so therefore minus 2 and minus 3 are the zeros of polynomial x plus plus or x plus 6.